Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people, and welcome to the Kanekura Show, where I have to do the ma... ...and decide whether or not a game deserves to be slaughtered or salvaged. And today, I'm reviewing something new. Yes, I know, shocking to think. But you know, I don't live under a rock. Well, but anyways, yeah, I'm doing a new game. But this game explores much more mature and adult themes than that of Totally Fanny or Lego Racers. Because this game deals with such themes as isolation, paranoia, and kidnap. You know, as opposed to uh, imaginary fashion shows and um, Lego Pirates. <laughs> and you know, I kind of surprised myself with the step up here, and I've probably shocked you guys as well. So, you know, to prove that I'm not a wussy girly girly girl. I am reviewing the recent indie horror game on the PC, known simply as Slender. Halloween? Yeah! I first heard about the Slender Man after playing Minecraft and wondering what in the name of Satan's portion that was, and why was it so creepy and random in the middle of this Minecraft universe? <laughs> and why can it teleport?! So after looking into the matter, I discovered all about the Enderman's backstory on Minecraft through the history of the beast best known as Slender Man, via YouTube documentaries, mythological studies, and of course, the Marble Hornet entries. And I don't care what anybody says, I'm a sucker for this kind of paranormal stuff, so despite the unknown opinions on whether it's blind truth or a complete sodding lie, I thought the whole entire mythology behind the Slender Man was fascinating, and very well constructed, as well as blooming unsettling. Yeah, even more so than PS1 FMV of real peoples. <laughs> so it was only a matter of time before some fancy pantsy indie game company would come along and make a fancy pantsy indie game to accompany the legend, and let innocent fools experience the horror of the Slenderman for themselves. What we got out of that was a little title known as Slender. Obviously, being an indie game, this survival first-person horror experience is set at a very low budget, with a limited control scheme and a simple objective, not to mention a completion time of about 10 minutes once you know what to do. So Parsec Productions had to really heighten the bar with the horror game genre if they wanted to create a memorable and downright scary experience in a gameplay span of about 10 minutes. The game Slender has to make you feel tense. And from the reaction videos I've seen so far, the truth about men is demonstrated. It makes men scream like girls. It fixes them into women. So the truth is, Slender can make you tender, as well as being a gender mender. And you know what? I'm chicken shit when it comes to this kind of stuff. I love it with a passion, but I'm chicken shit when it comes to it. So what I've done, I've waited until night time to do this for you guys, because you're looking especially beautiful today. And there is a bit of light behind me the beam of light, which is the living room because there are lights on because people are still congregating downstairs. Congregating? Congregating downstairs. And the only artificial light is coming from the computer monitor in front of me. So we have done this in the most efficiently, incredible, bombastically, fantabulosic way possible. And yeah, I'm fucking alone. So now I'm actually ready to properly tackle this little lost puppy. Which isn't really a puppy, and more like a demonic death machine of death machine. So we boot up the game, and naturally, the graphics can only be fantastic, my dear! <laughs> and straight away, BOOM! In the game, no fucking around, no story. Just skip the foreplay and fuck it in the face. <laughs> I love that, it's just like Atari. It just drops you in the middle of... Th th that. I adore it. So in case you're stupid, the objective is collecting eight pages. Apart from that initial complication, it's a pretty straightforward show. You are given a torch at your disposal, so in case you're stupid, you can turn it off if you wish. And that's it. The minimum naked bare necessities of a game. And also the first thing you pick up is that you move so goddamn slow and sprinting doesn't help much either. Using those simplistic mechanics within the game heavily works in its favour, as you really do feel helpless, lost and hunted by something that will, no matter what you do, eventually get you. As for Slendy, um, you don't really know much about him, but what you do know is that he really doesn't want you taking his beautiful drawings, so he begins spawning and stalking you until you eventually die. Where does he spawn? Why? I don't know. Bad programming? Maybe. 
or maybe not. Where this can mean that sometimes you never see him once in an entire playthrough, the random occurrences you will witness from him will guarantee to give you chills, and the fact that there are no set rules to how or where he pops up makes it that much more horrific. The music is droning, the sound effects are harsh and repellent, and it really wants you to remember what you just played. Now I did play this after coming away disappointed by Fear 3, so stepping into this was a hugely refreshing and raw experience, much like how fear itself is one of mankind's rawest emotions. And this game loves to grab your fear by the skin, and give it a little bit of a massage, that's quite nice, give it a little bit of a tweak, possibly, then maybe give it a bit of a harsh pinch. And then slip it all around because you shall die. And when it comes to horror games, that's what I like. Basic and atmospheric tension, fear of the unknown, fear of even seeing what's chasing you. Now when you can say that about your game, you can tell that you've fulfilled your life's goal. Now the only real problem is that the game is set in a forest. This may be true enough to the Slendy mythology, but still, the open environment can really ruin the claustrophobic feeling it should be putting across. It's like you've always got a chance to escape, which does give the player that little glimmer of hope, which is kind of nice, but it still means that Slendy isn't too much of a threat once you start setting ground. Now, I can't really play this game, since every attempt of mine usually ends like... Yeah, that. So as you can see, when the screen starts going all... ...on you, it means you're about to be taken by him. So you can just sprint away. Except for me. It didn't work. It makes no sense. Am I missing something here? Oh shit, 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 oh shit. I shit. I, uh, oh my goodness gracious me! I've been taken by. No! I shouldn't have seen it! I didn't read it! Where am I? Where am I? Oh my god, where am I? What's going on? Oh, can, can, uh, get me out! Get me out of here! Lesson for today, kids. If you don't get what you want, fucking scream. Yep! I think it succeeds in its goal pretty well. Another thing I picked up on is how the game is, actually, when all is said and done, pretty easy. Once you've figured out what to do anyway, and not when you get, you know, one page. <laughs> but yeah, once you figure out the secrets, such as never looking behind you, never stop moving, and remembering your set path, you can get this game aced in no time. Which isn't the best of things, but when it comes to showing off to your cowardly adversaries, it really does come in handy. To be honest, for the most part, it's like a lottery of game programming. You can get the hardest and damn well scariest playthrough in the whole world, or the one time where it's as easy as breathing a frizzy cheesy bruise out of the three frizzy cheese trees. You just sit here and you think, what's the point of everything? Life. Death. Okay. What? What was that? You can't, you can't just, you can't just do that. You... T you turned me away. I was going along nicely, and I, that wasn't me. That was the game. I'm not even joking. That was the game that did that. The game did that. When did when do games fucking disobey? That's not right, game. It's not fucking right. You should sort your fucking. As for me, even though it's very easy to figure out and ace the game without a sweat, um, for being a free download, yeah a free download, the simplistic mechanics, creepy as hell atmosphere, and potential scares it could squeeze out in a 10 minute sitting, given into consideration the past independent history of the game, then it's easily deserving of the salvage. If it's your birthday today while watching this video, then happy freaking birthday to you. Don't let the slender man take you. And remember to stay beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. Well, hello, my beautiful people. Hello. Thank you very much for watching this video. And thanks for being so patient in between each video as well. I'm trying to get them out as quick as I can, but, you know, things sometimes don't let me do that. But um, anyway, I've linked you two videos um, on this screen, one on your left and one on your right. The one on your left is my last video, which you might have not seen, but if you have, then watch it again. And the one on your right would be the short movie that me and a couple of mates were making over the summer. And if you go and watch that, which I'd love it if you did, then you'll see why I've been so busy recently and struggling to get content out. 
but um, please watch it and please enjoy it and please spread the love and keep doing everything you're doing because you beautiful people are keeping me alive. Thank you so much for the support and everything. Everything is great, everything is grand. I've got the whole wide world in the palm of my hand. And don't forget to... Yeah, 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 yeah.